Good health tonight. A major announcement for families with food allergies who've been affected by the EpiPen shortage. Different auto injectors will now be easier to get thanks to a new partnership between Walgreens and a drug company. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with all the details. Doc? Well, Devin and Kimberly, this is the AviQ auto injector. It's more advanced than an EpiPen because it electronically gives voice instructions and automatically retracts the needle out of sight. And before this new partnership, these were much more difficult to obtain and often significantly more expensive. So they're like a third appendage to you. You have to have them at all times. Susie Hulquist has at least four sets of epinephrine injectors at any given time. Her 14-year-old daughter has severe food allergies and not having medicine readily available could be the difference between life or death. You know, it's like food, water, <laughs> auto injector. And if you don't have it, you're really in a potentially very dangerous situation. Because her family has suffered through the EpiPen shortage, when Susie heard the news about Walgreens and drug maker Kaleo's partnership, she breathed a sigh of relief. The AviQ epinephrine auto injector will be available at Walgreens across the country starting now and at no cost to those with commercial insurance. Kaleo also has an assistance program for qualified individuals who do not have insurance or prescription drug coverage. Your health care provider will need to specifically prescribe the AviQ, but that's often as simple as a phone call from the pharmacy in order to verify that the substitution from an EpiPen is appropriate. Dr. Andrew Peters sees patients regularly who need an EpiPen for survival. The epinephrine is really the best and only treatment that we know will work to potentially treat that condition. So if someone doesn't have an EpiPen they, or their EpiPen has expired, they do get concerned rightfully so. Now the current shortage of EpiPens is hitting especially hard right now because parents are trying to stock up as they send their children back to school with a fresh supply of medications. Let's get to the rough part here though. You mentioned this is more <laughs> expensive. It's yeah. It's kind of breathtaking. Yeah, it's significantly more expensive. Actually, the listed retail price is $4,500 for a pair of these compared to the listed retail price of $600 for a pair of non-generic EpiPens. Now, both are really expensive, but these AviQs are way more. So it's going to be interesting to see how Kaleo adjusts their prices after the EpiPen shortage is resolved. Mm. Either way, it's expensive. This is substantially more, oh. no doubt. That, I mean, you're really leaving so many families just out of, they can't even consider it. Well, that's exactly it. You know, there are some pricing um, breaks that they offer to uninsured yeah. patients, but on the whole, it's really just a matter of shifting costs. These things are still extremely, Boy. frankly, overpriced Certainly in my is. mind. Yeah. yeah. All right, Doc. Okay.